Hey y'all, welcome back, Mandy with My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. And today, let's get to know the green tree frog. So the green tree frog is a very common, easy to find pet. You can find them at almost any pet store. So for the green tree frog's tank setup, you'll want a 10 gallon tall tank. These guys are an arboreal type of frog, so they like to climb on things. You'll want to give them vines or branches, something that they can be able to climb around and enjoy in their tank. Now, of course, you will need a hygrometer and thermometer. I have the little combo set because it takes up less space in the tank. I don't like to take up too much space in the tank because, I mean, it's a small tank. You don't want those big giant ones in there. I like to go with a simple setup with having a slightly larger water dish and going with the Eco Earth that holds in a lot of moisture. These guys do like a fair amount of humidity, around 50 to 60% is usually good, so you'll probably need to mist the tank down at least once a day, depending on what kind of climate you live in. If you live in a little bit drier of an area and it is harder to maintain the humidity levels in your tank, then you can always keep in a larger water dish or add some moss to the tank. So because these guys are actually pretty much just nocturnal, you don't really necessarily need a lot of extra UVB or lighting in the tank. Making sure that you have a nice day-night cycle will be pretty much sufficient, although you can add a low wattage UVB bulb if you choose, but it isn't usually necessary. So for the temperatures in your tank, 70 to 82 degrees is usually the range that these frogs like. 70 more in the evening time. You never want it to go above 82 in the tank because then that could lead to problems like heat stroke. Oftentimes, depending on where you live, you might not need any kind of additional heating source. If you live in an environment where you might need a heating source, then there are under the tank mats. And you can, of course, use a low wattage heat lamp, although I would probably prop it up a little bit higher above the tank because I know my frogs like to hang out like right at the top of the tank. And you don't want it to get too hot and you don't want to burn your frogs. Now for these guys' diet, of course, they are being frogs, they are insectivores. Crickets and dubia roaches are great. These guys are excellent little hunters and they will dive bomb their food typically. Just make sure to dust their meal off with calcium vitamin D3 supplement every other feeding. Now with these guys, juvenile frogs tend to eat a couple of crickets every day, where on the flip side, the adults, you can get away with feeding every other day. When you're housing your green tree frogs, you can usually house two or three frogs in a 10 gallon tank pretty comfortably. Some people will even go as far as putting four frogs in there, but I feel like that's kind of pushing it, so I would stop at three. Now in the evening time, it is not uncommon to hear males croaking in the night. So the green tree frogs do make a great beginner pet, easy to find, easy to take care of. They're pretty low maintenance. You only have to clean out their tank about once a week and they're super cute. So that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.